everybody to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjord map. I'm an old guy gaming in in this episode. We are going to go after the artifact of the Devourer. And then depending upon how our time goes, we might even go ahead and attempt to make a Pithecus uh, in the latter part of this episode. Just depending upon, like I said, how long it's going to take. Uh, so I have my army ready to go. I've got 20 Rexes all leveled up. Um, the minimum damage of the Rexes I'm going to use is 2,600, and some of them are all uh, up to 2,900 uh, damage, so just crazy damage. Uh, all of their health is uh, around 23,000, and um, so they are cryoed up and saddled up with all of our um, Ascendant Saddles that we made and ready to go, but I need to get Artifact of the Devourer um, before we can proceed. Um, so... Let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to have um, Andrew Circus with me here, and then I'm going to take um, some Basilosaurs along for the ride as well. Um, so let's see here. I want to make sure that... Here, let me get my uh, uh, those thingies on. And I'm, I'm bringing this more for the hypothermic insulation than anything else. Um, I want to make sure all of you guys are on high follow distance let's see here you're already on high um, all of these bassies are just the offspring of um, our original uh, base basilosaur um, basil over here and then i have uh, i have gotten one mutation a health mutation on a new father over there um, so i have replaced a basil with that father Okay, so um, let's get, let's kind of move these guys out of here, get them lined up, and then we'll take off to Artifact of the Devourer, which is up in the northwest part of the map. Uh, the cave is pretty nasty, um, but I think we'll be okay. See, the thing about these Massies is that they are, they got pretty high health, and you're stuck. They got pretty high health, but they... Uh, they don't have really high DPS at this point because I'm still kind of in the process of leveling them. Um, but I think we'll be okay. And you know we have we have Andrew Circus too if we if we need him. Um, it looks like maybe one of them got stuck there. Uh, I did my my respec and I am I gave myself a lot more health and a little more fortitude and weight and didn't really bother with melee damage or oxygen or any of that kind of stuff because you know our main focus moving forward for the rest of the series is going to be boss fights and stuff and I just want to make sure that I'm uh, reasonably tough okay so all of you guys are following me um, I did tame up I seem to be um, well I don't have any extra females I guess is what I'm trying to say because I'm using the females uh, to breed so I tamed up another wild female. Uh, she's not very strong, but I just have her for the mate boost, mostly. Well, entirely. Uh, so Soldier 1 is overall our highest melee. Um, he is... Wait, no, that's me. Uh, his melee is 866. Um, Basil, our original Basilosaur, uh, has like 38,000 health, but his melee damage isn't as high. Uh, so that's why we're going to be on on this one. Plus, Basil's not uh, imprint. Oh, what happened to the imprinting on that? Oh, you know what? I think maybe... Shit. Uh, I think maybe I ran out of fuel. You're not imprinted at all. Oh, crap. I just noticed that. All right. Well, that sucks. Uh, I think I'm, I probably ran out of fuel on my, um, my nanny. And um, so that's why they didn't get imprinted. Oh well, that's what it is. Again, I, I still think we'll be fine. So let's head on over that direction and get ready to go get the artifact of the Devourer. We have an alpha shark here. Why don't we kill it um, so we can get some maybe get some XP here. Must not be very high level, it's already bloody. Okay. Um, well, 
got five levels. Nice. I'm gonna put all of those into melee. What does it get us up to? Yeah, over a thousand. Okay, good. Very good. Look at that. Oh my god, 15 points. Wow. Okay, so he's, he's got super high health. Yeah, that got him up to 975, but he's not imprinted at all either. So let's just grab a couple of these things from him. Alright, Vassal got the kill again. Got seven more points, that's really good. Alright, so we got the kill on that one. Okay, so two more points here. All right, guys, we are at the entrance to the cave. Uh, do I have my GPS on me? That's an Omni tool. I don't. Oh, okay. Must have accidentally put it away or something. Uh, well, if we look at the map, uh, this is where I am all the way up in the upper left-hand corner. Um, so basically, you just look for this kind of iceberg area here, and then uh, it's basically straight down the us. Okay, so let's head on in there and uh, see what's what. Well, I guess we'll take on this Alpha first. Get a little more XP. Okay, we got five more levels from that. So there's no uh, surface in this cave, it's all completely underwater, so there's no place we can go up to get O2. And uh, I am expecting lots of eels, and I'm sure we're going to have some alphas to deal with too. But I think we'll be fine. There's a runestone over there. Um, let's see if we can... Is everybody with me? Let's see if we can grab that runestone before we get into this big fight here. Because all these guys are going to converge on us. Turn around. I'm trying to get to it. <laughs> there we go. Nice. should be attacking. Okay. Got some piranhas and stuff in here too. Alphas yet. They're probably around. We're just wrecking them. Are those guys even attacking? They're not attacking. What the hell, man? Are we. Is it because they're too deep? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think that's what it is. I think they're too deep to attack. All right, well, we'll just have to come along with us then. And uh, if we happen to to lose um, Soldier 1 here, which is very unlikely, but certainly within the realm of possibility, then we'll just use those guys as the backups. Yeah, I forgot about that. If they're too deep, they won't attack unless you are uh, yourself are riding them. I'm gonna 
mean, we're we're wrecking face here with Soldier One, though, anyway. And we actually have some more points too. Uh, two more, to be precise. And we're also at the artifact too. Clear of all enemies in the immediate vicinity. There we go. Artifact of the Devourer. Beautiful. Alright, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is um, head on back. Uh, in fact, we could probably just teleport. Well, no. Can we teleport? I don't think we can because we have sea creatures. Unless I... Uh, yeah, I don't have enough grouse. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we'll head on back and get ready to go do Alpha Megapithecus. We're going to go right to Alpha, and I think, I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. We'll see. All right, guys. Here we are. Um, we are in front of the Aberration, aberration Cave. Uh, which is where the Megapithecus thingy is. Um, so let's go through here and... Um, you know what actually I think I'll do is let's go this way. We might as well check the loot crates while we're here. And we're going to have a, a Carcanos to kill. Because there's one that hangs around the, the platform. Well, um, we'll check these loot crates because the loot crates in here are usually got pretty decent stuff in them. Uh, is there really no enemies around? Well, except for Parlovia. Don't have to worry about the dung beetle. Guess we're good. Uh, Sarka saddle and an ascendant trike saddle. Alright. Nothing too, too fantastic, but whatever. Uh, what level is this guy? He is... Oh, she is a 140. Um... Oh, there's another one over there, too. Okay. I wonder if they would try to grab our mount. Don't think they can get to us from up here. So what we might be able to do is... This. Uh, I don't want to get too close to the edge though because they might be able to grab through all right well let's just go see what happens nice blue color that's cool all right what level is this one here that's a 60 all right let's just go Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of that. Are there any enemies, like, really close by the platform? It doesn't appear that there are. So I think we're okay. I think those are just fish down there. Okay, let's get the... Um, let's get the Tribune in here, so... We need that artifact of the Devourer Pack Brute Steinborn's Relic, and then we need 10 Therizinos, 10 Megala, Me Megalania, 10 Spino, 10 Shark Teeth, and 10 Thibacaleos. Look at that. Okay, so we're ready to go uh, for Alpha Megapithecus. Let's go ahead and put you away. And we'll get all the wrecks out and get ready to go here. Okay, I think I've got everybody in the inner circle here. I don't know if they have if they have to be entirely in it or at least just part of it. They have to be in it. Let's turn you sideways a little bit just so your feet are all the way in. Turn you this way. 
a little bit. You're... Yeah, I got you a little closer, I think. You're sticking out a bit. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys know uh, what the deal is with that, do they have to be completely in or just partway in? I'm going to say that's probably okay because... forward anymore. Alrighty. So everybody is everybody should be um, sent to group whistle except for soldier one which is my Rex and the highest damage Rex too. So let's do this. Here goes nothing. We're going to take one of those, one of those, one of those one of those and let's try Alpha Megapithecus really wish they'd make these platforms a little bit bigger for this kind of thing but it's what it is Okay, so I guess we go this way. This arena is different than the one on the island, and I don't think you can. I don't think you can fall off the edge. Yeah, looks like he's. Yeah, he's over there. Okay. Get him, guys. I'm stuck, of course, as usual. Oh, for goodness sakes. I can't even move. <laughs> They're just absolutely burning him down, though. Um, and that's not even with the full army. Come on, game. Seriously? Well, it doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about it anyways. He's like just absolutely getting wrecked. There we go. Soldier 14 is the one that killed him. That was that was just too easy. <laughs> Good lord. There we go. Alpha Megapithecus, ladies and gentlemen. He took him out. Beautiful. Uh, Alright, let's see what Soldier 14 has. The trophy and 220 element. That's a lot of element. Okay, cool. And we get, I guess the flag just automatically goes in our inventory. Well, that was, um, that was a little bit anticlimactic. <laughs> At getting stuck in those dinos, I mean, that's just, oh, so frustrating. I, you know, we didn't, it wasn't a problem this time, but we can't have that shit happening when we're doing Alpha Dragon, man. Of course, we're going to be using Therizinos for Alpha Dragon anyways. All right, cool. So yeah, we learned a bunch, a bunch of new tech ingrams. I, I didn't even look and see exactly what popped up, but um, we'll, we'll take a look and see in a little bit what that is. And uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, I don't really see much point in farming Megapithecus only because it's just such a pain in the butt to gather all the crap. Oh, there's a Arcanos down there uh, to do that. So. I think this will probably be the one and only time we'll take them on, but man, these wrecked is like, holy crap, man. Um, I mean, looking at them from here, which is, of course, you know, the lighting is kind of weird and stuff in here. I don't see any damage on any of these guys. Uh, or any significant damage, I should say. I'm sure some of them are probably a little bit bloody, but yeah, we just mowed him down. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, while we're in here... Let's um, we'll get the red crate. No enemies right near it. Oh, nice! We got a we 
got an Argentavis, uh, an Ascendant Argentavis saddle, and another useless Sarko saddle. Who even uses Sarkos anymore, man? I used to, you know, way back in the day, tame them, but they're they're very hard to control, and uh, I just don't care much for them as a tame. Okay, well, I think uh, we're good to teleport back home. I'm not going to leave these guys here. There's no reason to. Uh, let's get back a little closer to everybody. Just kind of get in the middle here and head on back. And guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, uh, a couple of, of announcements. Uh, Ark Ascended, uh, Ark Survival Ascended is out now. Um, I am going to get it, uh, but there's been a lot of really negative reviews on it um, about the performance of the game. But um, I'm planning on getting it anyways, and if it plays reasonably well for me, you know, then we'll start a, a series for that. But I'm I'm still planning on continuing the Fjord series here too, regardless, um, so that we can you know finish the map. Me meaning that we want to get you know the Alpha Dragon down and get all the way to uh, Fenris or Fenrir or whatever the hell the main, you know the last final boss's name is. So, and we might use these Rexes against him uh, because they're just amazingly strong. So yeah, that's the tentative plan. And uh, with that being said, was I gonna say something else to you guys? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna start working towards Alpha Dragon, uh, which means you know getting our Therizino army, uh, whoops, tamed up. In fact, I already have them all ready to go pretty much because we, we're gonna use the same army that we use against Broodminer. I just have to gather up all the all the stuff, you know, the artifacts and the tributes and that sort of thing. Um, so. With that being said, we will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.